everyone, today we will be reading The Best Teacher in Second Grade by Katherine Kenna. Pictures by Abby Carter. Luna's Idea. Luna had the best teacher in second grade. Mr. Hopper loved the sky almost as much as she did. Luna had been scar scared to move to a new school in the middle of the year. But after one week, she had a poem about planets, a painting of twinkling stars, and pencils the color of the sun. Room 75 was a blast. On Friday, Mr. Hopper said, family night is in two weeks. We need to plan a special show. Does anyone have an idea? A talent show, said Nina. A cooking show, said Ollie. A hamster show, shouted Sam. George Washington, their pet was running in his wheel. Luna thought about what she loved most. She looked up at the sky. She looked down at her painting of stars. She looked at the telescope in the corner of room 75. Then Luna smiled and raised her hands. We could do a show about the night sky, said Luna. Planets follow a path like tightrope walkers. Com comets shoot through space and there are animal shapes in the star constellations. It is like a midnight circus. Mr. Hopper grinned. I know what you mean, he said. Everyone else stared at Luna like she was the new kid from outer space. <laughs> Suddenly, Ollie shouted, a circus! What a great idea! I've always wanted to swing on a trapeze, said Sophie. I'll be the ringmaster, said Miguel. My grandpa has a top hat. Those are all fine ideas, said Miss Hopper. A circus it is. But I said a midnight circus, called Luna. Not a regular circus. No one was listening. Her idea had come and gone, just like a shooting star. Lions and tigers and bears. On Monday, Mr. Hopper said, we have, to, we have a lot to do this week. Please work in your groups. Lions made circus masks. Tigers made circus tickets. Bears made circus posters. Have fun. The bears got out paint and paper, glitter and glue. I'm going to paint three ladies on fancy horses, said Sophie. I'm going to paint two monkeys on motorcycles, said Miguel. I'm going to paint George Washington jumping through a hoop, said Sam. Luna unrolled a sheet of midnight blue paper. I'm going to paint a lion, she said. Luna painted ten gold stars and sprinkled them with glitter. That is not a lion, said Ollie. Yes, it is, Luna said. Watch. She connected the stars with paint and formed the shape of a lion. Meet Leo the Lion Constellation, she said. Everyone stared at Luna. At recess on Wednesday, Luna twirled three hoops around her waist. Guess what? I'm going to be in our circus, she called. An animal trainer, asked Sam. A clown, asked Sophie. The planet Saturn with its rings cried Luna. Everyone stared at Luna. On Friday, they pushed their desks into a circus ring. What does the ringmaster do? asked Sophie. He runs the show, said Miguel, and shines in a spotlight, said Luna, just like the man in the moon. Good answers, said Miss Hopper, Mr. Hopper, but Luna saw people laughing at her. 
as she felt she felt as small as a speck of dust in space. That night, Luna peeled the glow-in-the-dark stars from her bedroom walls. She peeled off the sun and the moon and the comets and threw them in the trash. Then Luna shoved her telescope deep into her closet and hated the sky until Monday. The Lunch Line At lunchtime on Monday, the lions and tigers and bears slid their trays along the counter. Mrs. Mudlark's class was at the front of the line. They were talking about animals and clowns. As Luna reached for a milk carton, someone bumped into her. Sorry, said the girl. I was practicing my spin. Why? asked Luna. She said, because I'm going to be a dancing lady on a horse in our family night circus. Mrs. Mudlark's class was putting on a circus for family night. The lions and tigers and bears raced back to room 75 with the news. Now there will be two circuses on family night, said Nina. I knew we should have planned a cooking show, groaned Ollie. What can we do, cried Sophie. Mr. Hopper said, I think someone in this room has the answer. Mr. Mudlark's class is putting on a regular circus, said Luna. She took a deep breath and then smiled. I have an idea. Everyone stared at Luna. Everyone was listening. The Midnight Circus. At seven o'clock on family night, room 75 was crowded and noisy. Parents and grandparents sat on small chairs. Brothers and sisters peeked in desks around the circus ring. Outside in the hallway, the lions and tigers and bears held bright hoops and wands of sparkling stars. They pushed Miguel toward the door and said, Go on, go on! Miguel marched into, the, into room 75 with a top hat on his head. Late at night, he announced, when you are fast asleep, the midnight circuit begins. The man in the moon leads the way as the star performers move in. Will they know we are the night sky? asked Nina. Sure, said Luna. How? asked Nina. Luna whispered, because we are all second graders. Here we go, said Mr. Hopper. He walked into room 75 with a huge cardboard moon. Step by step, star by star, the others followed him in. The family night audience clapped and cheered. Babies woke and laughed. For one whole hour, Luna's class turned room 75 into a midnight circus. When it was over, Mr. Hopper said, good work, I am proud of you all. Then he looked at Luna and smiled. Thank you for your fine idea. Luna beamed like the sun. She had the best teacher in second grade. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.